Hey guys, Matt here, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to build a LEGO camera lens. Now this sort of tutorial has a couple variants that you can pick from, and it's relatively simple and straightforward, so you don't need a lot of parts. So hopefully you guys will enjoy, and this is a really versatile tutorial in that cameras can go anywhere, so this can apply in any layout you want. So I'm actually going to do three different designs, but this is a relatively unlimited sort of tutorial. So let's move the pieces aside. So first of all, you're going to need a Lego camera. And what I find is that a lot of people who have these cameras tend to just use them as are. Now, say you want to add a little bit of detail to your sort of Lego photographers, you can actually take it and just take one of these little clear stud pieces and place it on the front. And that can either be a just your standard digital camera or it can be like a, a prime lens that you would put on a DSLR or other camera. Now, say we want to do that again, but we want like a, a bigger lens. You can take a one by one stud, place it on the front of the camera, and then take one of these sort of transparent uh, tile studs and place it on the front. And yet again, it's like an extended lens on a camera, but this could also be like a kit lens that comes with a DSLR. So it adds a little bit of depth and variety to your camera. Now, of course, lenses can get really, really big. So we can take a one by one cylinder and attach it to the front. And then we can take one of those transparent tiles and place it on the front. And it's like a telephoto lens. Now what's really great about these sort of telephoto, air quotes, is that you can actually use a variety of colors on these. You can use the black that matches the camera body. You can also use white or dark gray, or any gray for that matter. And these would work really well in, say, an athletic layout where you have photographers on the side of a field who need to take pictures of the athletes. And it just, using these different designs, just sort of add a little bit more depth to your potential layouts. And they allow you to sort of move away from the conventional use of the camera, which is just like that. And I think this is a fun little detail that you can add. And of course, it still functions perfectly fine for your minifigure. So say Stan wants to go and take some pictures at the football game. And he can. And he can look for the, through the viewfinder. And there's his camera. And this works really well. And again, it applies to any layout. It can be a tourist. It can be some sort of sports theme that you may have. It can work for anything. And that's what makes this tutorial so, so good, or this design so good. I hope you guys enjoyed. Tune in next week for yet another tutorial. Remember to like, favorite, and of course, subscribe. And have a good weekend, guys.